Hi guys, I am back. It has been what, like a year and a half since my last video and um, I finally decided that I was gonna do it, that I was gonna be back. So it is a beautiful day outside. So I decided that I would do this part of the video on my porch and talk to you guys for a few minutes. You know, I just wanted to quickly catch you guys up. Uh, I did not leave the channel because I was no longer doing keto. Um, I have gained more weight. I think in the last video, I think I was down to 144 pounds. I am now at 157 as of uh, almost a week ago. And, um, but that's not because that I spent the last year and a half um, off the off the band rails, obviously in a year and a half, if I just went completely off the rails, I'd be a lot heavier than 157. I know my body enough to know that, yeah, I'd be in the 200s by now. Um, I'd actually been doing so well. Uh, June of last year, my daughter graduated. And uh, at that point, I had gotten myself down to 139 pounds. Um, for the most part, I had been maintaining uh, in the low 140s, probably close to her graduation. And then I dropped a couple pounds. Um, there was a dress that I bought that, although I could wear, it was slightly uncomfortable, but I really wanted to wear it for her graduation. So um, I worked really hard and dropped a couple more pounds, which is really all I needed. Um, obviously it wasn't water weight, um, so I worked really hard, got down those couple pounds and I was able to wear it. Here's a picture of me and my daughter, um, at her graduation. I'm so proud of her. She worked so hard. Um, and right here is a little video I did for all of the people who were just, you know, incredibly supportive and everything for my daughter for her graduation. I did want to put that in here because I know most of them watch this. I just wanted to send out a big thank you to every single person who made a video for my daughter for her graduation. It meant a ton to her and it meant a ton to me. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for helping to make her graduation special. Bye. By that point, I had gotten down, after graduation, I think I'd gotten down to like 134 pounds. And then I was doing really well. And then September came. I'm a huge football fan. My favorite team is the Green Bay Packers. And no, that's not because of the color green, because yes, green is my favorite color. I'm like kind of green obsessed, but um, no, they're not my favorite team because of the color. I have no excuses. I just went crazy. Like I completely went off keto. I completely went off dieting. Um, it became, you know, like my two boys have gotten into it now too. Um, my husband and my daughter, they could care less about football, but my sons, this is the first year that they've enjoyed it. And so now suddenly I'm not watching football by myself, right? It's become this huge deal, like this huge party, right? Like Green Bay Packers are playing. And so then it led to pizza with like, you know, stuffed crust pizza, right? The cheese pizzas. Um, we started doing those a lot on game nights and chips and salsa and like all of these football foods, right? Man, when the Packers played, it was party central here at the house. And, um, you know, and the boys wanted pizza and, you know, I just, I felt a temptation and went downhill from there. So, um, my weight came back up. I, I weighed myself and I was like, oh man, this is, this is not good. And so then come February, I decided I needed to lose weight again, but I didn't want to just lose the weight. I wanted to do more, right? And my husband, he works at a job that requires him to walk like 10 miles a day. I kid you not, like 10 miles a day he's walking. And I'm like, I want that for myself. I'm like, I know I can't do 10 miles a day, but I just don't have that in me. Um, mainly because I don't have the time. I have three kids, I'm homeschooling, you know, and we're cosplayers and so we are making our own um, costumes and stuff. We have a competition coming up that we have um, costumes that we have to make ourselves for. 
And so there's all the stuff going on, right? And I was like, I know realistically, I don't have enough time in the day to walk 10 miles. It's just, it can't happen. And I was like, but I need to do something. And maybe it's not 10 miles, but walking anything is better than walking nothing. On the 1st of February, I decided that I was gonna start a 75 day challenge, only I was gonna make it the 90 day, just to get into the, the, the soft challenges. And basically what you have to do is you have to drink three liters of water a day. You have to do some kind of exercise 45 minutes of, of the day. You have to read 10 pages of a book. Um, it can be any book, nonfiction, fiction, whatever, you know, just 10 pages of a book. The eating healthier, you have to make better eating choices for yourself. Drink, um, only drink sociably, right? Like, um, be very responsible with your drinking. Try not to drink that much. The, my exercise, I chose to do walking. I split it up in two parts. In the morning, I do about 20 minutes, which um, equals out power walking for me about 20 minutes. That makes a mile and, let's see, as one mile and like 36, like 1.36 of a mile or something like that. And then later in the evening after dinner and things like that, and my stomach is settled, I take my second walk. And that one is, I walk for about 25 minutes and that roughly gets me about a mile and a half. On average, I'm getting about you know, a little over three miles a day of just outdoor walking. But I'm also making sure that I'm getting 10,000 steps, which again, I'm a stay at home mom, taking care of three kids. And, you know, just between my two walks, everything I have to do inside the house, like dinner and dishes and cleaning and, you know, picking up toys and all the chores and stuff, I am easily getting over 10,000 steps a day, which has been my goal. The water, I have been horrible with it. Three liters of water, you guys, is way too much for me. Um, I'm actually thinking about adjusting it to something that's more sustainable for me. Um, I suffer from an electrolyte imbalance and keto being on keto too combining the both of them has been super hard for me um i feel so tired and sluggish and i get these migraines and it's not the keto flu it's the lack of electrolytes and um i found the best way to balance that is i don't drink as much water so three liters is too much it flushes out too much of the little electrolytes i am getting and I started drinking Element again, but it is literally the best stuff that we have found. Obviously, I don't have trouble reading 10 pages of a book. I mean, I could read a whole book um, in a day if I had the time, I could. For the past week, I've been killing it. I've been doing really well. Um, I have stuck that, I've been sticking with keto. I've been doing my intermittent fasting. I've been doing the 16-8 fasting. Um, I have been plugging everything into my carb manager. I'll show you a shot of, um, this will be my today's, um, eating. So my macros by the end of the day, I will have that up here for you guys. So you guys can see what I've been doing on average. Um, so I've been clocking everything. I have the like zero or something like that. It's an app you can put on your phone. It's called zero and it times your uh, fasting. And I find that when I use that, I'm less likely to want to cheat off of my fast. So um, when I'm ready to fast, I just hit start and then I just let it go until um, the next time I eat. And then I just hit the end and you can earn all of these goals and these rewards, which are, are kind of fun. I am starting to feel good now that, um, you know, the little bit of the keto flu has disappeared. Um, I'm starting to get my energy back. Um, taking my walks with my dog have become easier and I'm finding that I absolutely love them. They are my time for just me. But what got me up and got me out the door was a audio book that I have been listening to. And I've been making sure that I only listen to it when I go on my walks. Audiobooks have really been helping me um, stay motivated for my walks. I do know my measurements have went down a lot because I had to measure myself for the dress that I'm making for August. I have went down many inches all the way around. Even though I'm 157 pounds, I'm still wearing pants that, um, if I would have been at 150 pounds last year without the walking and stuff like that, I wouldn't have been able to wear as comfortably as I am today. So this is why 
you'll hear many people tell you that the scale isn't the only thing that you should be using. You should definitely be doing your measurements because they will help, you know, they'll help you. I mean, like my legs are, you know, like I can walk now and my thighs don't rub, right? There's, there's no rubbage, um, which is, is so nice. I have decided that 2024 is gonna be my year where I'm gonna reach my goal weight. And I feel like I can do that. I can knuckle down and I can get there. So I've got so many plans for this channel, so many recipes that I wanna try, things I wanna do. Um, I wanna do a lot of canning this year. And so you're gonna see a lot of videos that involve keto canning, right? Like I wanna make some keto jams, have fun with that. And I will share those experiences on here you know, success or fail, I'm gonna give it a try and it's gonna be right here on this channel so you guys are not gonna to wanna to miss that. I am excited to get back on this journey. I'm excited to get down to my goal weight. I really do wanna do this channel because I feel like I have a lot that I can give and I have a lot that I wanna share with you guys, right? But I want this journey to be a success journey. Your mindset when you're losing weight is about 95% of the whole thing, right? It's, it's in your mind. If you don't think you can do it, you're not gonna be able to do it, right? So you have to focus on here. The end, the end of the rest of this video is going to just be some footage that I have taken of me doing all of these walks to, to show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing. You know, the weather has been crazy here. We have went from snow to rain to sun, back to snow, um, hailing storms, you name it, I have walked in it. My dog and I were out here, we're taking our walk and I'm immensely proud of myself because I could have given myself the excuse of the snow. Could have just said, nope, we're not going today. But I said, nope, we're doing it. We're doing it. I can always go in and, and heat up a, a heat back later. So it's a beautiful day out here. I don't know why, but I had less motivation to walk today than I did when it was snowing and cold outside. I, I genuinely do not know why. It just, that's just how it happened. But I pushed through it and um, I'm out here and it is beautiful. And now that I'm out here, um, I'm starting to feel better. So my words of advice for you or when you wake up or whatever, or you're not feeling your motivation to walk, just push through it. I promise you that that feeling will go away and you'll actually end up feeling a lot better once you get going. So we decided that we're taking the boys and we're going on a nice long walk. It's sunny, it's beautiful. We all got our sunglasses on and I mixed up my element drink so I will get my hydration and my electrolytes as we take a nice walk. So um, it's around our marina is probably about like a mile, mile and a half long. Sometimes we go only once, sometimes we go twice. It all depends on how tired they get. So we'll just have to wait and see. So the cold weather's back and it's supposed to rain today. And so um, we're out here getting our walk. I'm hoping to beat the rain there for a little bit I was feeling some drops but that seems to have gone away so far it's beautiful sights like this that really make me glad that I go for these walks this is our second walk of the day so if you look behind me we've got a big old storm coming in look at those clouds so we're out here getting our walk in and I think it's gonna be kind of a power walk because I really don't think I'm gonna get caught in that storm back there. So I don't know how well you can see that back there. The sun's kind of got a glare right now and I can't see, see my phone, but the old storm coming. So we're gonna get our walk done. We managed to mostly make it. Um, you probably can't tell from the video, but there's a couple flakes of snow hitting my face as we go. Well guys, did it. Got back home from the walk and we beat the storm. As you can see in the background behind me, it is storming some nice big flakes. It's raining on us. As you can see, my jacket's already pretty much soaked. But we're out here. We're finishing our walk. Nothing's stopping us. We're gonna keep going 10,000 steps. 
outside in the rain. I think it's kind of kismet that it's snowing again because it's been exactly one month since Tay and I have been taking these two times a day walks, getting our 10,000 steps in. So we activated the twilight bark in our area. Well, I'm out here again today. The snow is melting pretty quickly. It's like we're trying to set a record on just how quickly six inches of snow can melt. It's a mud pit. I think there's a spot right here. Well, today we have the wind. It is actually not that cold. Um, it's about 60 something, 62 degrees out here right now. It's in the morning, um, but it's really windy. The winds are up to about 20 miles an hour. And I feel like I've got a couple more can coast. <laughs> All of these months that Taya and I have managed to luck out and either take our walk after the storm had passed or literally get home before the storm hits. Oh, yeah, that luck has run out. <laughs> we now are officially walking in rain. It actually feels kind of nice. One thing I like about the rain here in the desert, the smell of the sage. It smells so good. I'm studying to be an aromatherapist, so every time I'm outside in the rain and stuff, it just, it smells like aromatherapy. Oh no, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's hailing. So now we have hail. All right, okay, so we walked in the sun, we walked in the rain, and now we're walking in hail. It doesn't seem to phase the dog at all as she wanders around sniffing dirt, so. Well, this is gonna conclude today's video and all my walk videos so far. Don't forget to like, comment, and share my videos. Sharing my videos would help me out a ton, you guys. It really helps get my videos out there. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.